have to say anything. <clears throat> Nobody's expecting you to. I know. for people who are, who are gone, and that's not Leo. I know he's with me, with all of us, and he always will be. If you need proof, I mean, did you notice how bright the sun is today? Did you see how it makes the leaves glow, like stained glass? That's Leo. He wouldn't want us to meet here on a gloomy day to say, well, whatever it is that you would want to say to him. The fact that I can stand here at all is because of Leo. His love gave me life. It made it worth living. And he's giving me the strength to go on with it for the both of us. Thank you all for coming. I. I know you're not here for me. Some of you can't even stand to be in the same room with me. You're here for Leo. To send him your thoughts and your love. Mother, thank you for being here and supporting me. I'll always be grateful to Leo. Not only for loving you the way you deserve to be loved, but for bullying me into being the mother that I should always have been to you. He was very courageous and <laughs> telling me off more than once, I might add, proved that. Thank you. We love Leo for making you happy, really. I know you did, Gramps. <laughs> Everyone was like family to Leo. But, um, if you don't mind, I'd like to say a few words on his behalf. Maggie, how great is it that you came to town? I mean, not only were you his cousin, you were like the little sister that he never had. And Anna, you gave us our honeymoon in New York. A time I'll always treasure. Thank you. if it wasn't for you. <laughs> David saved my life, literally. And I guarantee you that Leo loves you more than ever for that. And so do I. <laughs> Bianca. Leah would never forgive me if I didn't apologize for getting rid of you the other night when Vanessa was, um, you know, when everything went down, I just, I had to get rid of you. I know, I know. I have said some really horrible things to you. Of course, I meant them. And if I denied it, Leah would be really disappointed at me. But he adored you. You were like a little sister to him, too. And along with David and me, you were one of Leo's great loves. Another thing he really loved about you was your voice. So, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you to sing something. What? Anything. Anything that Itsy Bitsy Spider. 
not one of Leo's favorites. <sighs> Great. First you make me cry, and then you want me to stay. You can do it. Thank you. 